Hey, this is Shane. Point to the word. Uh, this will be uh, part four of uh, New Age. Uh, I just want to start with a verse um, that really uh, sheds light on like, New Age and all that entails of it. Uh, it's from Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four. That says, "For if he that uh, comes preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit." which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. So, a lot of this, um, in New Age, like, they have ascended masters and stuff. Um, like, I'm just now, you know, beginning to learn about it. But, like, their Jesus is just one part of, you know, ascended masters. And so, like, you can basically pick your own God, like, you know, whether that be Mary or, you know, Krishna melchizedek or uh buddha you know whoever you want and you know i a jesus is a part of that so um i just want to include that verse and then um another one that really uh, goes into new age uh is from the same uh book same chapter it's the second corinthians chapter 11 uh verse 14 and so uh I'll actually start at uh, 13. Uh, so it says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And this is the key verse. And no marvel, or, you know, you know, no surprise, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So I just want to include that because a lot of New Age, you know, it's you know, light and love, you know, kind of thing. So I, uh, like... Satan transforms himself into, you know, an angel of light. So, you know, it's a lot of light, you know. So it's it's like a facade, basically. And a lot of it's, you know, good, evil, you know, light, dark, you know, even back to the Wizard of Oz, good witch, bad witch, you know, yin, yang, that, you know, that's all it is. You know, positive, negative energy, good energy, bad energy. So, you know, good demon, bad demon, you know, a good one would be an angel, so, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's all tied in. So I, I just want to give a basis of that. So, yeah, last we talked, um, I was talking about an instance I had of, like, sleep paralysis. Um, and just, like, you know, this heavy pressure on me. Like, I, I you know what I mean? Like, I didn't see anything. It, like, it kind of reminded me of, um, you know, what happened at the hotel, you know, with my mom and my sister, um, like in the last couple of videos. And so, um, I, I didn't see a, you know, like a black mass or anything, but you know, something, it felt like someone physically was keeping me down. So there's a lot of pressure on me, uh, like on my chest and stuff. So yeah, so that happened. Um, the next story was probably like the freakiest one. Um, now this one's messed up. Uh, so I'll start off. We had a cat named Moo, uh, M-O-O, uh, this is like black and white cat. And so we actually just, uh, put him down, uh, last week. So, um, if you guys, uh, would pray for our family, um, yeah, my wife's, uh, you know, taking that hard. Uh, that was our cat even before we, you know, met. So, you know, older cat. So I include him because like, he's, you know, kind of part of the story. So, at this apartment, like, we would hear, like, like, cabinets, like, banging, like, from time to time. And so this one story, like, my wife and I were laying in bed, and we hear, like, you know, foots, like footsteps on, you know, the flooring. And so, I don't know, like, we thought it was the cat. And, um, dude, uh, yeah, so all of a sudden... You know, we were like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, Moo, it's just our cat. And then all of a sudden, I, I'm, you know, I'm freaked out, so I'm not sleeping. So, to paint the picture, like, our bed is, like, back here. The hallway is, you know, in front of us. And to my left is the bathroom. To the right is the hallway, you know, into the kitchen kind of thing. So, I like, where I'm at in bed, I can see out, you know, into the hallway. And so all of a sudden, I see this, what looks like a shadow, that looked like, um, like a child, 
Like it, um, like you know, not an adult, but not like a baby, but you know what I mean. Like the height of a a, a child, like just kind of run by. I'm like, ah, uh, that was not moo. And so I just like book it, and I I run, um, you know, forward, and I I go because it, it went into the bathroom, and so I run forward, and I run into the bathroom, turn on the light, nothing's in there, and I turn on the hallway light. And I turn around, and all of a sudden, Moo, our cat, is walking, like, from the kitchen towards me. So, you know what I mean? That was, like, confirmation that that wasn't the cat. And, I mean, I, you know, the size of what I saw, the height of it was, you know, much bigger than a cat. So that really freaked me out. That was messed up. Um, and so the next story, um, uh, like, is just nonchalant, like... And, and this is like, you know, the familiarity of the situation. Like, you know, my wife and I are, you know, dealing with this stuff. And so we're just chilling on the bed, like just, lay, you know, just laying on the, our bed. And all of a sudden, like, the pillow just does like a 180 and just like flaps over. And I'm like, did you see that? And my wife's like, yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Like, it's getting so familiar that... Oh, you know, a paranormal thing that just happened, you know, we were almost like numb to it. And that's crazy. Like to think, you know, to think about that, that's that's really messed up. And so, um, you know, all this stuff is happening and um and this is before I got saved. So I I feel like I brought this stuff in there with me. So, you know, we're going through all this stuff. Um also my mom uh was still, you know, into like new age for a bit and she ended up going to the psychic because that's what you know she was doing back then and uh i was interested in um uh like uh karaoke and so like my wife and i would go out you know and you know drink and you know, i mean just you know hang out and you know sing songs at karaoke and so you know, I was interested in, you know, making some money and stuff. Um, and so, um, like, it was in the talks that, you know, maybe I would I would train, you know, to be like a fill-in, you know, for like a weekend or something like that. And so all of a sudden, I didn't tell my mom this. And all of a sudden, my mom went to a psychic. And a psychic told her, you know, about the family. And she told my mom, like, two things about me and our, you know, our family. And she said, one, your son, you know, she's talking to my mom, your son is going to um, make money uh, with music. And so um, I think we're on our way to like a Christmas, uh, you know, with our family or something. And we're all like riding together. My mom was like telling me this because, you know, she was into that and excited about it. And... Um, yeah, so, like, that came to pass that I became, you know, like, a karaoke host, and I was, you know, making money for, you know, music. So that came to pass, and, um, you, you know, and, and I'll, I'll throw the other one in, because uh, the, the second told my mom two things about me and my family. So that one, and then also in the same uh, session, uh, the second told my mom that, Oh, and you're gonna, uh, he's gonna have kids, and it's gonna go bam, bam, bam. And so, my mom, you know what I mean, like, oh, you know, you're gonna have three kids, and it's gonna be, like, one after another. Well, that did not come to pass. Um, so basically, like, right now, I have a six-year-old kid, a son, and you think, bam, 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 you know what I mean, like, what, two, three years apart or something? Um, so, you know, I mean, that didn't happen. Um, I don't have three kids right now, you know, right now. and this is quite a, you know, while after, uh, this, you know, psychic. So I, I want to, uh, in mentioning that, um, I do believe that, you know, psychics have an ability to talk to familiar spirits and that's what it's called in the Bible. And I believe these familiar spirits are demons. And these demons can see, you know, what's happening around you. Like, you know, hey, like, you know what I mean? Like, and that's why, 
you know, I believe that they have some accurate information. But I, the Bible says that, you know, if, you know, they, you know, a psychic makes a mistake or, you know, if they don't get everything right, they're not 100% accurate. Like in the Old Testament, it was extreme. Like, it was like you would stone them um, to death. You know, they, they should be killed because, you know what I mean, they're not speaking in God's name, you know, so they're false. You know, yeah, they might get one thing right, but they're not getting all of it. So, um, yeah, I, I believe that, you know, people can, you know, talk to familiar spirits. I, I, I believe that. And I feel like some of their information might, might even be correct. So, um, yeah, I'll end it there. But, yeah, I mean, one thing turned out, and I, I no longer do that anymore. Um, uh, and, and, and the other one didn't. The other one absolutely did not turn out. So, um, I'll end that. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.